Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. You know, being from Brooklyn, when I think of Brooklyn, I think of a lot of things. You know, Nathan's Hot Dogs. I think of Devil Dogs. I even think of Harley Quinn. But the one thing you certainly don't think of is the credit card. Believe it or not, the credit card was invented in Brooklyn in 1946 by a guy named John Biggins. I'll show you his picture right here. And believe it or not, that concept had never been thought up before. So I'm here at the Trader Joe's here in Dr. Phillips and I'm gonna talk to my sister and I'm gonna, she doesn't really know that the credit card was invented in Brooklyn. So hold on, you're gonna actually get to meet my sister with the mask on. So this is my sister Diane visiting from Brooklyn. Hi, so, hello. Hey Diane, how you doing? Okay. Did you know that the credit card was invented in Brooklyn? No, I really did not know that. Now I'm thinking to myself, where would we be if we were during the, obviously you're wearing the mask, why? Because of COVID, right? Yes. Came out of Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's and, right there. You know, we're just trying to be really careful and not contract the virus. We're not eligible for the vaccine at this point. And not really sure if I really even want to get the vaccine. But I mean, just imagine if the credit card wasn't invented in Brooklyn, right? Mm -hmm. Where would we be at this point in time? I mean, because the credit card is kind of like the secret savior of like society in a sense, because the credit card allows us to social distance and to use yes. contactless payments with the with the plexiglass that you've well, seen. Well, we can also order on Amazon or from other places without having to use cash and not have a cash transaction. I, mean, I order a lot of times from Whole Foods in Brooklyn, and you know, Tr Trader Joe does not deliver, so we can't get items from Trader Joe. Of course, we can use the credit card there, but we can't have it delivered to the home. Exactly. But most of the things that we need, practically anything, can be ordered online through debit or, or credit card. So did you know that the credit card, it was actually the guy who invented it was this guy, John Biggins. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll put his picture up here for you to see. Believe it or not, he actually invented this on uh, Fulton Street. Mm -hmm. um, and it was actually 830 Fulton Street. I actually tried to call the place. It used to be um, a hardware store yeah. or an appliance store, but the, they went out of business and now it's like a big condo, which I'll throw a picture up of the condo as well. Okay. So there was always credit in stores. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look back at the old west, like the old western towns and stuff like that, they would go in and the guy would have a book and he'd write it in the book, like what you owed or whatever like that. But they never had a third party situation. Right. So what this guy did in 1946, and uh, I'll put up a picture also of the bank, what it looked like. He was working for the Flappish, uh, Flappish National Savings Bank. Mm -hmm. And what he did was he eliminated, he made a third party situation. So what he did was he eliminated the whole process of you dealing with the store owner. Right. So now if you owe the money, you basically dealt with the store owner. Yeah. And actually you dealt with the bank. Right. And that's actually what he did. So what do you say it was beneficial for the bank? Why? Because the interest rate. Because, um, of course, the bank charges an interest rate, and which the store has to pay when they accept credit. I don't know about debit cards because we didn't have when we owned the business. We didn't. You know, most people right. do not have a debit card, but credit cards. You know, the store owner has to pay about three percent on those purchases. So that benefits right. the bank. Well, I don't think, well, when he did this, I don't think he was doing it really. I think that the bank was getting uh, some kind of percentage, but I, the cards were kind of very primitive. I'll show you a picture of the card that he did. Right. But it was essentially to help the businesses in the area because I think the bigger picture was they wanted the businesses to stay in the area because the businesses, were they were going to the bank right. for loans and all that. Right. So I think his thinking was that if he got more business for the places, they would come to the bank and they'd want to expand. Yes, but unfortunately today, the small business owner is at a very big disadvantage because they are not able to deliver the way the big box stores are. And, you know, they don't, they're not able to stay open. Right, and in not this, only... In this economy. And not only that, they really can't comply with the uh, ADA requirements. You know, you have to have a wheelchair ramp. And, right, and I think exactly. these are all great things, but if you're in a store, like we had a Brooklyn store for 25 years, if you're in a 100-year-old building and you got to build a wheelchair ramp and it's you don't have the space, it's really hard. It is. And they'll come by and they'll fine you. You have to have private sanit uh, private right. carding. Uh, there's all kinds of things you have to do if you have a store. And it's just making it harder and harder right. for these local businesses to thrive. Well, I think the takeaway from all this is 
Yes, it's great to have a credit and debit card and we really can't live without it. However, if you live in a local neighborhood, I feel that it's very important to shop in your local stores and support those businesses that can't deliver and that are having difficulty right now in this economy. And I think that's the whole concept is that, like, like we said, we own the store for the longest time. And obviously, the support to small businesses is really important. And uh, that's really what it's about. But like I said, we just wanted to do this video. Uh, my sister's down visiting from Brooklyn, so I always try to include folks in the video. She's a neighborhood person. We had the store for 25 years, and uh, I wanted to uh, include her in the, in the video and get her, get her thoughts on it. And uh, I, I myself didn't know that the credit card was actually invented in Brooklyn. And, you know, he called it Charge It, and I'll put a picture up of that. And, you know, most people look it up and they'll say, well, the credit card started in California. Well, kind of yes and no, because the one that they started there was what we think of more as a credit card today. But this guy, uh, John, uh, he basically started the concept. So without the concept, it's kind of like the Wright brothers. You know, Werner von Braun got us to the moon. But if it wasn't for the Wright brothers, there wouldn't be any Apollo program. So that's kind of how I figure it. So we got to give our credit to uh, the guy from Brooklyn. And uh, as always, Brooklyn's the best place in the world. And uh, I want to show you guys this fountain. I want to end the video, and I'll do with some end, end, ending, uh, ending talk. But I have to show you this video of this fountain. This is the most beautiful place to be, well, one of the most beautiful places in Orlando. It's at Dr. Phillips at the Trader Joe's. So I'm going to close the video on the fountain. So this fountain is actually right behind the Trader Joe's. And you could see how nice this is. I mean, you could come here and eat lunch at Trader Joe's, which is right right over there, this close away. And look how beautiful this is. You know, you could you could actually walk your dog around here. There's benches. This is almost like a meditation garden. It's so, so nice. And I oftentimes come here and sit here and think up my thoughts. I mean, you guys who watch my channel, you know that um, I lost my son Matt last year and we have uh, a foundation which we call the Waffles Foundation. It's, uh, we donate musical instruments to uh, programs to kids who can't afford to play. And uh, Matt was a musician, so Waffles was his nickname. So a lot of times I just come here and I just scope things out and I think about you know what, I'm gonna, what we're gonna do for the foundation. Uh, I wanna just thank everybody, again, who's been involved in the foundation, uh, particularly Lewis, uh, one of my directors, and also Lorraine, another of our directors, who've both been unbelievably amazing in all their tireless work and their love, uh, keeping Matt's memory alive, and more importantly, as Matt would want, to keep the gift of music flowing as this water is flowing here. So until the next video, I'm gonna put up a little, a little picture of the Waffles Foundation, our logo. If you'd like to donate, we're available uh, to donate via Venmo or PayPal. We are a legitimate 501c3 foundation. You can look us up on the internet, through the IRS website, whatever. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching. So have a good day. This is Al signing off until the next video. And remember, credit card was invented in Brooklyn. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.